Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka ED Nihas Tusapapa. Currently here doing readings for uh, the month of September. So let's get this card here. Let's clear the energy, clear y'all's energy, clears my deck. Oh, that shit, it'll cool down. Shay, 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 shay. All right. So divine forces of unconditional love. What does the sign of cancer need to know for their highest good? Guys, please know that these readings are very much so general. So they may not apply to you or um, to everyone. They're not going to apply to everyone, you know. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Looks like uh, we see some mental conflict, some strength needed. Uh, the Knight of Swords, so some strong words happening, perhaps an argument with the fire sign. And it's going to require you to take matters into your own hands. All right. Divine forces of unconditional love, please bring clear and accurate messages for the sign of cancer. Divine forces of unconditional love. What does the sign of cancer need to know for their highest good? Any low vibrational energies, I send you away with love and light. But you are not welcomed in this space. I pray for your ascension in the spirit realm. But you are not welcomed here. Alright. So we got a lot of swords energy here. Um, bottom of the deck. It's the queen of wands taking matters into your own hands. Um, overall energy is the ace of pentacles here. So um, there's most definitely some deceptive energy around you that um, that you're releasing. You know, a lot of source energy here, but it's healing source energy. Which perhaps explain why you have the Ace of Pentacles as the overall energy. There's uh, looks like an uh, an overcoming and ending to uh, perhaps a bad streak a streak of bad luck for you. Uh, the overall energy here says your mind is a recorder. Let go of all negative, unkind replays and replace them with elevated sounds exactly you're removing the toxic people out of your life putting an end to that shit and you're moving forward in willpower and determination into what you deserve here you know with the six of swords you're moving on to karma waters and embracing new beginnings with the eight and here with the emperor card you know taking control back over your life and here with the king of swords energy you know mastering um uh, your emotions you know it says relinquish here with this card relinquish defensiveness in your communications instead instead stand tall listen and learn you know you don't have to get defensive when you see um someone or you just know that someone is lying to you or whatever you know you can be that that um in that calm energy right and trusting your intuition, even though this person may be blatantly trying to lie in your face, you know, with this energy here, um, with the seven of wands, we have the adversity card, which says, I understand or I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You're most definitely going to learn a very valuable lesson here with this energy. Um, and that's how to overcome, right? It says overcome the desire to tame your wildness teach your mind to follow your heart and you know your heart is maybe calling you to find the courage to leave this toxic relationship here with the courage card coming out um with the six of swords page of pentacles and the emperor card you're finding the courage you need to walk away from this person it says i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence Okay, and then we have the health card. I honor my physical soul. I honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Right? 
and you're honoring your physical vessel by no longer subjecting yourself to this person no longer you know playing into their bullshit you know stress is the number one cause of disease whether it's emotionally mental physical or spiritual if we're you know off balance or out of balance in, in, in any one of those areas mind body or soul or spirit mind body or spirit then um it's going to affect either all of the others if one is off all of it is off in some way shape form or fashion all right so clarifying the seven of source energy this deception energy we have always connected with you through distance death and life we are one but you're in deep thought about this with this person and you're no longer <laughs> you're ending it you know they're trying to hold on to you but you're gonna find the strength to walk away you know we have here um, I send you sexual energy clarifying the chariot and you're like you're moving forward in willpower determination past this you know deceptive energy that this person is coming in with trying to deceive you playing mind games and mind you know just mind fucks so clarifying uh the six of source energy we have here if you're not too long i will wait for you all of my life We have heavy, heavy burden and then growing pains hurt the worst with supporting the emperor card. Please stop doubting our connection is the overall energy here on that. And so with the six of swords, if you're not too long, I'll wait for you all my life. They can continue to keep waiting, you know, because we have here um, the page of pentacles, new beginnings. All right, so again, yeah, with the Six of Swords here, sorry, I had to pause the video, got interrupted. But with the Six of Swords here, it says, if you're not too long, I'll wait for you all my life. They're just gonna be waiting their whole life then because, you know, this relationship has become a heavy burden on you and you're ready to move forward into new opportunities and new things. Um, clarify, clarify, clarifying the uh, Emperor card, we have growing pains hurt the most, right? And that's you taking control and, and walking away from this connection. I mean, it's a deep connection, but this person did not honor you. They, they come, they're coming in or they did come in with this deception energy. And, you know, your inner voice is telling you to end it here. And then with the health card, it says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. The knight of, I mean, the king of swords here. Let's get clarity on the king of swords. So you're seeing clearly now, since all of these things, this time I would do, you're being true to yourself. You're setting up those, setting up healthy boundaries. You know, you're tired of chasing this person. It says clarifying the four of coins, which is, you know, putting up the healthy boundary is I feel like I'm chasing the wind. I'm tired and torn. You're, you know, you know, you don't want a, a new beginning with this person anymore. You've thought about it long enough and deep enough. And now you're in the energy of surrendering to the post that moves you towards your creative destiny, a life of great purpose. Right. Um, so in clarifying this five of source energy here, it says, I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good. Right. Growing pains hurt the worst distorted feminine is the energy on the bottom of the deck so maybe this person um if it's a male you know uh had mommy issues sorry I'm scratching my butt had mommy issues or whatever and that's possibly why they put you through all this deception perhaps um lies cheating who knows like i said this could be a person place or thing so it could be a job or this could be a friendship, a family member or something. But what is going on with cancer is you're taking your power back. 
you know you're not being defensive about this move you're not being defensive defensive about releasing this person you're just being true to yourself you're you know you've thought long and hard about it and you're doing what you need to do to move forward past this you know relationship you know overcoming perhaps the sexual desires maybe you got to have a strong sexual connection but it's not everything that you need it to be. It's not emotionally fulfilling as you would need it to be. And you're ready to find that person that is for you, you know, uh, a healthy emotional relationship, one in which the person that you're with, you know, fulfills you in every way. So that is what I'm getting here. Hope they helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. If you like the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and until next time, I love you all. Peace.